Good morning to my dear students. Dear students, I am your Sarika Sharma ma'am, your general knowledge teacher. I welcome again to all of you in your e-classes. Hope you are safe at home and doing good. Students, first of all I would like to tell you the name of your general knowledge book. The name of the book is Knowledge Enhancement. So, Today, we will discuss two topics from your general knowledge book, Knowledge Enhancement. The first topic is Being Good, page number 3. Children, you can open your book along with me. So, page number 3, Being Good. First of all, you should understand what do you mean by being good. It means judging the inner quality of someone by the appearance of things. It means judging the inner quality of someone by the appearance of things. Like this, you can see uh, some pictures I am showing you on your screen. A child is helping another child. And the child who is helping is being good to the other child. Another, just a beautiful picture. The child, one child is taking his old grandmother, helping him. And the another one is also helping the grandmother. So both the picture shows that the activity of being good. Children, now here in this lesson number 3, we come to the chapter number 1 and page number 3. Put a tick, that is tick correct sign for the things you should do and cross for the things you should not do. And this chapter is being good. So some qualities are there. They have given by uh, shown you by some pictures and you have to tick the right or Cross. Number one, you can easily understand. To help others in finding their lost things. Is it a good, good quality or bad quality? You are being good if you are helping him or you are bad. Of course, you are good. So, it is, you just uh, tick the correct. Here I have ticked the correct answer. Here you can see just. To help others in finding their lost thing. Right. Number two, help an old person to cross the road. Children, you are being good. You are good if you are helping and someone to cross the road. Yes, it is also right. So, put a right sign. Third, to help mother at home. Of course, yes, it is a good quality. And you are being good to your mother if you are helping him. So, again, the sign of right put the correct sign here next my dear student to care to take care of sick and elders if anybody is sick at your home and if you are helping your elders it is a very good quality and you are being good to to your parents and to the elders if you are showing these qualities of course this quality is right so you will put a right sign five to make faces to the elders, children, it's very bad. It is very bad to make the faces to see the elders. So you are not good to others if you are doing or showing this type of behavior. It is strong. So put a sign of cross. Six, to help father in need when your father need your help and you help them it is a good quality you are good to your father if you are helping him again put the sign of right to help father in need sign of right number seven to make your own bed before and after sleeping Children, generally what you do, you are getting up and you are leaving your bed like that only. It's a bad manner. So what you have to do, you have to make your own bed. So here 
दे आर आस्किंग एंड दे हैव शोन यू द पिक्चर वन चाइल्ड इज मेकिंग हिज ऑन बेड सो टू मेक ऑन बेड बिफोर एंड आफ्टर स्लीपिंग इज अ गुड क्वालिटी यू आर गुड टू योर सेल्फ यू आर हेल्पिंग योर मदर ऑल्सो सो इट इज अ गुड क्वालिटी पुट अ साइन ऑफ राइट टू हेल्प द नीडी एंड पुअर चिल्ड्रन of course yes it is good children now you are in fourth standard suppose anyone needs i'm taking an single a single like simple example so now you are in third, fourth standard if anybody needs your third class book so you can give them so to help the needy and the poor children it's a very good quality you are uh, just good to the person Uh, to them you are helping so it is a good quality put a sign of right to take care of your younger brother and sister so it is again a good quality you are uh, showing your good behavior towards your younger brother and sister you are being good to them if you are loving them caring them so it is a good quality again you put the sign of right here again just repeat it children with me again i'm uh, telling you the question put a tick for the things you do and cross for the things you should not do first to help others in finding their lost thing right help an old person to cross the road right to help mother at home right to take care of sick and elders right to make faces to the elders wrong to help father in need again it is right to make on bed before and after sleeping again right to help the needy and poor children right my dear students and again ninth one to take care of younger brother and sister it is again right so you can do this exercise in your book what is the assignment children this assignment you will do in the copy write any five habits which shows you are being good with elders you can write to help others in finding their lost things help mother at home take care of sick of elders to uh, to help father in need make your own bed any five qualities or any five good habits you can write from page number three which we have previously discussed okay i hope you understood the first chapter being good now come to the next ch chapter children manners and etiquettes children manners and etiquettes go hand in hand and the other chapter is about this only okay here are again some pictures you have been given in this book and you have to write and cross first of all we should know what do you mean by manners respect kindness and consideration form form the basis of good manners and good citizenship children if you are you are respecting others you are kind to others you are a good citizen and i told you manners and etiquettes go head to hand in hand just see greet everyone a good manner when you meet father principal in the school when you meet a uh, teacher in the school or outside of the school suppose you see any teacher in the market and you just greet them good morning ma'am namaste ma'am it's a good quality it's a manner good manner greet everyone throwing the garbage in the dustbin etiquette so here again as i was telling you you have been given some pictures and you have to just see the pictures carefully tick write the pictures that are showing good manners and etiquettes and cross the picture that are showing bad manners children again i would like to remind remind you greet everyone say thank you say sorry when you have done any mistake respect others opinion and respect your elders say please please give me this ma'am please uh, yeah please give me your sharpener these all are the uh, sign of good manners so 
Here in this book also we will read first. Hold the door open for another person. Suppose a person is coming and you are holding the door for that person. It is a good manner. So you put, you just tick a right sign. Hold the door open for another person. Of course, is it, is it, it is a good manner. So you will tick right answer. Second, hot arguments and shouting. It is a very bad manner, children. You, If you have just having problem and you are shouting on if you are simply saying ma'am this is not like that whatever you have said it is wrong it is politely you are saying so being polite is a very good manner if you are saying please please ma'am this is wrong but if you are shouting and you are just uh, saying argument with the madam it is very wrong it is very bad quality so Hot arguments and shouting bad. Just see, they are looking bad. The both students are looking very bad. So, cross that one. It is a bad quality. Third, always greet your elders. As I told you earlier, if you meet your teacher, your parents, your relatives, your principal, your sisters, anyone, just greet them. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, father. Good morning, mama. Good morning, papa. So, it is a very good manner. So, always greet your elder. It is a good manner. So, tick a right. Four, speak politely with others. Children, of course, yes, you should speak politely with others. You should use polite language. As earlier I told you, thank you, sorry, please, may I do this. So, respect others. These all are the polite words. Thank you, sorry, may I do this. These all are the polite words. So, speak politely with others. It is a good manner. So, just take a correct uh, sign. Next, throwing waste in the dustbin. It is again a good, uh, a good manner. Of course, whatever, whenever you find uh, the garbage is in the street or just in, when you are sitting in the park and somebody has thrown something in front of you, you can say, please throw it in the dustbin. Otherwise, if he is not uh, throwing, you can just take it and throw it in the dustbin. You are showing your good quality. By doing this. So it is a good manners also children. If you are eating in the school something. Or if you are eating in the market. Whatever the wrappers are there. You should throw in the dustbin only. So keep your surroundings clean. This is the good manner. Throwing waste in the dustbin. Tick a right. Sitting too close to the television. Children. Very bad. If you are sitting too close to the television you it will affect your eyesight your eyesight may get weak you just you doctor will advise you to wear the specs so it is better sitting just far from the tv sitting too close to the television is a bad manners etiquette bad etiquettes then it is a cross sign so in this chapter, we have learnt about the manners and etiquettes. Along with that, children, some good manners, eating manners are there. Eat just slowly. Don't open your mouth while eating time. Don't talk to the other person while eating. So, some eating manners should be there. Should sit properly, sitting manner. Uh, just uh, when you are walking straight proper and uh, just walk properly all the way you should uh, just follow the good manners and etiquettes this shows that you are a good child if you are obeying your elders being polite with them using good manners so all these things are the examples of good manners and etiquettes let's repeat Hold the door open for another person. It is right. Hot arguments and sh uh, shouting. It is wrong. Question number three. Always greet your elders. Again, it is correct. Speak politely with others. A correct sign. Throwing waste in the dustbin. Correct sign. Sitting too close to the television. It is wrong sign. So, what is your assignment, children? Write any two good manners. 
any two good manners you can write you can write always greet your elders you can write another one speak politely with others you can write throwing waste in the dustbin <coughs> sorry write any two good manners okay so here we have finished page number 3 it was about being good and page number 4 about manners and etiquettes i hope you understood these chapters children now you can do your assignment in your book and rest of the sorry assignment in the copy and rest of the work you can do in the book revise it and learn it thank you very much children thank you very much for watching the video till end